I think we can all agree that the livery designer in Transom World 2 is overdue for a major improvement, and that can come in many different ways. In this video, I'm going to be going over my livery designer wish list, where I talk about some of the most important things that need to be implemented and changed with the designer. Before we get into things, I would like to ask you to please like the video if you enjoy it and agree with me, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's get into it. For the first feature, I'm going to be talking about common text, which is something a lot of creators have wanted for a while now. If you don't know what common text is, to put it simply, it's basically the number of a British train or all of that text you see on the bottom of German trains like the BR-423. It's tedious to have to copy and recreate all of that when creating a new livery, especially for the German trains. I would like to see a toggle which allows players to choose what text they want to keep and how the trains are numbered in game, allowing for liveries with different unit numbers. For my second request, we have the ability to select what trains you see in service mode. Sometimes you might just want to create your favorite operator's livery on a train in the game and that's understandable, however it can be pretty immersion breaking to see it on certain routes. For example, my GWR livery on the class 387. I love how good it looks, and it was nice running it on the GWR route in a scenario planner, however it looks extremely out of place running alongside Gatwick Express and Southern Trains on London Commuter. The same thing goes for my London Overground class 378, which I created from the Southern class 377. It fits on the Baker Lou line in the scenario planner, but it's way out of place on the East Coastway route. This feature will allow players to keep some sense of realism by preventing trains with certain liveries that don't fit from running on the route. Moving on to the next feature, we have a sharing function. This is something that basically everyone wants, as it will allow creators to gain recognition with people possibly reviewing delivery in a video. I know I would. This feature would also allow people who may not be the best at creating liveries to download others and see more variety in the trains. This does propose an issue though, with that being the PC modders who use operator and real life logos. Hopefully DTG can work something out with the brands that they are partnered with, potentially allowing us to place their logos on trains with certain limitations, like no profanity and stuff like that. This is a feature I would definitely use a bunch, allowing me to download some of my favorite liveries that I never made, like Carmine and Cream for the class 314, Silverlink for the class 313, and maybe even a Mark 1 livery for the 1972 stock. Now I'm going to be talking about increasing the number of layers that can be used on a single livery. For people who like to get creative and make highly detailed liveries, this could be a game changer. I find myself hitting the layer cap a lot, and an increase could allow me to not sacrifice the way certain things look. There have been mods on PC to expand the layer cap to over 60,000 layers, and while that may not be achievable on consoles due to memory constraints, I think it could be expanded to something more manageable like 10,000. This is just something that would allow people to focus on detail without having to worry about hitting a cap. And for the last feature, I'm going to be talking about the ability to type text out. I swear to god, the current system of placing each individual letter one by one is so goddamn tedious and annoying and it honestly makes me hate creating liveries sometimes. This would make the process so much quicker and more enjoyable with people not having to waste a whole hour trying to line letters up. Pair this with a few new fonts and this would be one of the most appreciated features for the players. I have one more feature that I feel like I should mention too, however as a special mention. Some of you may know that some of the trains in the game have multiple versions, for instance the class 377. There is a version for the East Coastway route and another one for the London to Brighton route. I would like to see these versions combined, mainly so all of us livery creators won't have to create the same livery twice for the same train, just because it runs on two different routes. 
this would be extremely helpful for the German locomotives, along with some of the freight cars that have multiple versions for different routes. Being that DTG announced that they will be working on version 2 to Delivery Designer, I thought it would be a good idea to create this video to talk about some of the features the community really wants to see added to Delivery Designer with its next update. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and agreed with some of the features I want to see in the next version. If you did, hit the like button and if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. Also, if you would like to support me even further, consider becoming a channel member with the link in the description below. Peace.